Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. Today is a pour that I thought I had lost the video of, but I was looking back through some of my other folders and I found it. And I was like, oh, that's where you went. So I'm going to share it with you guys. Um, it's pretty simple, straightforward. It is a dump and swirl. Um, these things go really fast. So this is not a super long video. And the color palette is extremely simple. Now, I started off pouring this into like um, a cylinder cardboard. My mom crochets. And so in the middle of the crochet thread is this cardboard cylinder thing. And she's like, can you use this in your paint? And I'm like, yeah, I can. Um, I thought it would help layer the colors better, but it was acting like a cup. Um, and I'm like, yeah, that's not going to work. So I pull it off. Um, but the idea was... The idea was a good idea. It just wasn't working. So we put it off. Also, the blue and the gold are brushed metallics. Um, that is a Michaels brand. And they have discontinued that line. Um, it was turquoise. And I can't remember the gold. But it was like an old gold color. DecoArt has those two colors available. Um, which would easily substitute the ones I used. And then I have used the Craftsmart Premium Ultra Bright Metallic in pearl um and that's my three colors and then my dump color is um black artist law flow acrylic so um probably one of the simplest ones i've done but it's really pretty it come out really really pretty so i am uh i'm sitting in my car on my lunch break and i just basically was like okay i have to make time for this because i'm not gonna find time i have to make time um school started back and woo wee they did not hold back on the first week i can tell you that anyway so i was like okay before i can go in eat my salad i gotta do this voiceover so that's what we're doing um if you want ratios um tips and all that kind of stuff it will be in the description box um down below and i just think it's easier to do it that way it's more accessible and you guys can refer to it instead of having to flounder around in my video um so today is thursday um a lot has happened this week um, this video is not long enough for me to get into it, but basically we discovered that I am allergic to the blood pressure medicine that I was prescribed. I had an extreme allergic reaction. It was causing swelling in places that you do not want to swell. Broke out in hives. Um, long story short, it was not good. Um, so <laughs> my doctor changed my blood pressure medicine and so far i feel much better than i've been feeling um and i think probably a, a large portion of me not feeling well is because i was taking medication that i was allergic to but i also take a antihistamine for um it's it's part of my anxiety treatment and um that antihistamine was keeping the um, allergic reactions from being so prominent and so i I stopped taking the antihistamine because it was it was supposed to just be like a transition thing and um, I got the full brunt of your body don't like this medicine it was really bad but like I said I'm feeling much better um, I feel really really good today like really good compared to how I've been feeling over the past several weeks. This has probably been one of the best feeling days I've had. Um, so yeah. But um, y'all, let me tell you, this finance class is the devil. So I'm looking through, you have this thing called a syllabus that you get at the beginning of the semester and it tells you like all oh, your jibber jabber all the things you need to know for your course your assignment your assignment due dates all this and that so she lists there's a um pre a pre-refresher test and a post-refresher test and she lists it on the syllabus like it's an assignment i go look at the post it's 132 questions now let me explain i'm an extremely good student i can say that and it not be conceded because I am not just like a gifted student. 
I'm a student that like works hard and I have to study and I have to like invest time to be a good student. So it's not like braggy, I'm a good student because I'm just a genius. No, I'm a good student because I work really hard. So I'm a good student, but I have limitations. <laughs> And I have to like go back and relearn and like, you know, I got to watch like a tutorial on, on different things. You know, like everybody has to have refreshers. I'm, there is no way I could have done the pre-test, which was 132 questions, the post-test, which was 129 questions, and then my regular assignment, which was reading a chapter, doing the chapter homework, and doing a chapter test. It was like, I, I, what? I was losing my mind. I've been working on these pre-tests since Monday. Finally, I emailed her. I'm like, are these graded assignments? Because I don't, I, I can't. She's like, oh no, those were just like, if you feel like you need a, a refresher, those aren't graded. You didn't tell me that they weren't graded. Now I've spent the past four days trying to, what? So I'm just like, oh, dear baby Jesus laying in the manger take the wheel because this woman oh oh no you should have told me that they weren't required she didn't tell me y'all i felt betrayed i felt betrayed it hurt deep in my soul that i have wasted four days and you don't understand these are not like 30 minutes a day no these are like six hours a day that i've committed to these tests that aren't going to be graded Yep. I understand this is first world problems, but these are my problems and I felt them really, really deep. <laughs> so now I've got to try to like get the chapter read, get the homework done, get the test done. Yeah. And then I've seen on the news that we've got a hurricane and a tropical storm headed to the Gulf Coast. Yes, I live on the Gulf Coast. So, guess what's going to happen next week? Mm. Hopefully, I don't blow my art room away. Because I will be so sad if I can't make pretty art for you guys. And this is pretty art. Look at those little bubble cells. They're so cute. Mm. I don't know. I just don't know. I think I show y'all a few. This is. I think I showed the dried results in it, too. And there was, this is, um, oh, y'all don't, I ran out of brown paper, so I had a trash bag that was, like, torn, and I just cut it in half and used that, because it was going to get thrown away anyway. Um, but now I got brown paper again. But anyway, yeah, oh, look at them. So pretty. The dump and swirl is so much fun, y'all. It makes the coolest little effects. I think this is going to look awesome under resin. That's my next thing. Put one of these under resin. I don't know if I've been doing them long enough that I have a piece that's cured. But, yeah, I want to um, I wanna cover one in resin and see how... Oh, no, wait. Come back. Is it time to go? Oh, no. See? I'm still here. Don't worry. I didn't leave. This is a dry result. She can say a few more cells popped up. But, um, yeah, it just come out really great. And it's really smooth, like the paints were mixed perfectly so there was no lumps or clumps and it just it's just like smooth and i was showing how many i had done these ones um the videos to them are put on insta except for that one but the other two the videos were put on instagram sometimes i mean if i have like an abundance of the same type of video i'll do it in fast mode like super fast like a one minute clip and do that one on you on uh, instagram so you can see um you can see those over there if you like some people like it in that format some people don't want to hear me run my mouth some people don't have 10 minutes to invest in watching this so they like watching the really fast ones so i try to accommodate and give you like multiple ways to, to see this done but anyway, yeah, this is one of my favorite ones. I didn't have any extra little pieces uh, with it. Um, I was kind of running low on those paints, but that's okay. This came out fantastic. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you're staying healthy and safe wherever you are. Please remember to wear your mask, practice social distancing, and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.